Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Cole Angel with State Supply. This is our inverted bucket steam trap repair video. One of our goals here at State Supply is to provide customers with training and education that pertains to our products and the environments they're used in. We offer presentations, live hands-on training, and much more. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Today we will be discussing an inverted bucket trap repair. The reason you'd want to repair an inverted bucket trap is if it has failed open, failed close, or if it's leaking steam from the gasket. The advantages to repairing a trap are that you can leave the trap in line so you don't have to repipe it, and often it's a lower cost than a new trap. The repair kits for inverted bucket traps are known as PCAs, pressure change assemblies. When you are working on a trap, you need to consider safety. If the trap is hot, it is likely blowing hot steam. So if the system's not off, you need to isolate the trap. If you cannot hold your hand on the trap comfortably, then the trap is likely blowing hot steam and you cannot open it. So the first step after we know the trap is cold is to loosen the six bolts on the top. Okay, so while we're taking off the last screw here, we'll be able to grab a flat head if the lid is going to stick and just pry it off if it's sticking. And then you can remove it and then you're gonna want to take off the inverted bucket like this and just set it to the side. And then what you're left with is going to be the valve lever, which you can just take off like so, set it off to the side and then you will need a flathead screwdriver to take out the guide pin screws. You can just set those off to the side. The new repair kit comes with replacements for these. And then the guide pin assembly should fall off and you can also set that to the side. And then what you're gonna wanna get at is the valve seat, which is right here. And you'll normally have to use a socket wrench, but this one's loosened ahead of time. So once you take that out, you'll have your lid. Um, you'll have the old gasket on it, and you'll also have the old gasket on this surface. You're going to want to clean those off. Um, you can use a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver. You can use a nail file. You can use uh, sandpaper. So I'm going to use sandpaper. Now that we have the gasket removed and the surfaces are cleaned using sandpaper and a paper towel, we need to remove the gunk from inside of the trap. The stuff that both fell down there from the scraping with the sandpaper and stuff that's in the trap from running. So if there's any lime scale or anything, you can use a screwdriver or sandpaper to get rid of it off the walls of the inside of the trap. And then we're gonna wanna use the blowdown valve to get all that gunk out of there so it doesn't end up in our system. You're gonna to wanna to do this by dumping water in here with the blowdown valve out. And you wanna make sure to get it nice and clean. Now that we have cleaned the surfaces of the trap so there's no remnants of the gasket or anything else, we can take our repair kit. In this case, it's a Barnes & Jones PCA kit for an Armstrong 800 trap. And inside of that will be a brand new gasket. There will be a new valve lever. There'll be a new guide pin assembly with the screws and there will also be a brand new valve seat. So the first step is going to be in to insert the new valve seat and you're going to want to screw this in with a socket wrench and tighten it but do not over tighten. And once you get that done you're going to want to take the guide pin assembly, set it there, grab the new pins and you can insert those. Okay, so you are going to want to make sure to use the pins that come in the repair kit and make sure to replace everything because the different parts will have different ratings on them and they need to be all replaced at once. Um, so once you tighten in these guide pins, you will want to make sure they're tight, but again, do not over tighten. And then you will take the valve lever and you will Simply insert it onto these like this. 
And then once you have that done, you can grab your bucket and then just push up on the valve lever like that. Pop the bucket in there like that. And then you're good to go. Make sure the bucket can move up and down freely so that it will work inside the trap. And then you will take your new gasket and there's only one way it can go on. It will line up with the pin on the trap. So take that, set it on there nicely, line it up with all the screw holes, and then you can drop the lid back on with the bucket. Make sure to line that up as well. It can only go on one way. And make sure the gasket is nice and flush. Then grab your nuts and bolts and then you can close the lid. You're going to want to make sure to tighten in a star pattern so the gasket evenly distributes over the lid and it won't leak. State Supply is here to help you select the best steam trap for your application. Please give us a call or visit our website. Stay tuned for more training opportunities and if you're in the Twin Cities, then swing by our Fridley location. Until next time.